Hi everyone, this is Rodrigo Sara with All About Aquaculture to Aquaculture Profit Africa. This is the second part of the visit of the uh, great aquaculture. So after seeing what happens at the actuary level, now we, going, we are going to see what happens during the nursery so that uh, we will have a, the big picture of uh, fingerlings production. Um, as I said, we will get a, a part of the secrets of success in fingerlings production for African catfish in Nigeria. Once the egg hatches, and you get the larva. The larva should not stay in the hatching trough long. You should take nothing, the maximum should be 10. 10 to 12 hours is enough there. So you now split them. You now start to shear them small, small. This one, each vat there goes to 10 of this. Each vat there goes to 10 of this. This is one by two centimeter and by two meters and the depth and the depth is 60 centimeters so each of the yellow tank we saw there will go into 10 10 of these okay to thin it okay so that is where the survivor comes okay if you over if you overstock them they will die massively because they have some poison in them mm -hmm. when actually when they hatch when the egg is hatched there are some waste that follows the hatching. Those, those waste that follow are poisonous. They will kill them as many as possible if there are too many. No matter what the water running, they will, they will die. So you thin them. That is why we thin them. They that four vats you saw there, those four hatching troughs, fills the 40 here. Mm -hmm. Yes. All this. This troughs are 40. Okay. So they fill it. Okay. They fill them with it. So to make the survivor high. So okay. that's where we get the good number. Okay. That's why here we can produce higher number of fingerlings. And what do you feed them at this stage? We feed them with atemia at this stage here. Okay. Before we transfer them into the other one. So that is where we started. We can start using the copenhagen's feed. Like open two copenhagen's. Do you have those larvae now here? Yes. And we have some that we have transferred them already. Okay, we cannot see them. We in cannot the... see them here. This one from here, it takes four days here. Move. With this. You can see them. We settled them four four. Okay. Four four is one bar. Mm -hmm. Four of this is into one fiber. Mm -hmm. Four of these uh, fibers is into one of these. Fiber tank. Okay. So this is the second, the third stage. This is the second stage. Mm -hmm. This is the third stage. Okay. And it's empty now. There is no. no... There's nothing. We just harvested them yesterday. Okay. And transfer them into the pond. Okay. For better space. Wow. So th this one now it goes to the better space. Mm -hmm. And how long does it last here? It takes how? five. five it take, it, from here, to, uh, this one takes ten, nine, seven, ten days. Okay, so three days there. The first in the first station. Yes. Here. Uh, in the first station is just ten hours. Okay? Yeah, ten hours. Yes. Here it takes three, uh, three to four days. Here. Yes. And then. Then here it takes seven. Depends on the temperature. Okay. If the temperature is high, if the temperature is a high temperature time mm -hmm. to take about five or six days. So but if the temperature is cool, it will take longer days. Okay, so in 14 days you put them in three different uh, holding yes. facilities. Yes, holding facilities. And that is to maximize the the, the success. The success. Nice. Okay. And how many of them do you have here? I have see 10. that there are ten of them. Ten. This ten, this ten, you know, that four. Yes. Four of that is for one. Mm -hmm. The ten is for forty. Okay. Okay. So you split again. You split yeah. again. Yeah. The four here. Mm -hmm. The four here. Mm -hmm. is Go into for one. One. Okay. Nice. And what is the survival rate here? 
Have you calculated? Uh, the survival rate here is very high. Okay. Once you don't delay, if you if you delay too much, mm -hmm. it will reduce the population. Okay. Mm. When I see the flashlight next to you there, that means people walk here at night. No. Okay. Even during the day, when we stuck here, you have to cover the whole thing dark. Okay. So the place will look dark. Okay. So you can't see anything. Okay. Except you take the flashlight to see. Okay. But we harvested them yesterday, so that's why we opened everything. Oh. Everything has been cleaned, the mm -hmm. whole thing has been dusted, everything has been washed and settled. Disinfection has taken place. We've disinfected and and when you say disinfection, what do you use for disinfection? Uh, like we use hypo in washing. Okay. I uh, like hypo. Okay. On uh, cheek, all those. Thank you. Germicide things we use. Nice. Thank you. Mm. So now let's go to the fourth stage. This is manure, poultry manure, poultry mm. droppings mm -hmm. with fertilizer, urea fertilizer. We, we make the solution of it here so it's softened you know when you put those the manure and the fertilizer into the pond it it, 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 it produces heat mm -hmm. so those heats will have effect on them okay. on the larvae on the larvae mm -hmm. when you transfer your fry to have effect on them mm -hmm. so in order to take out the effect so we condition them here for the cooling to take place so now we now take this solution and pour it into the water for the growth of a photo of zooplanktons it enhances the growth of zooplankton this one this one can take eight days ten days two weeks any amount of days here for cooling down properly thank you and the fertilizer over there because the the early stage of this of those uh, of the fish they need some nitrogen phosphorus potassium and all those minerals to diffuse this into their system now, when you put urea fertilizer into it, plus the manure, so when you get it, it will produce the nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and you know, all those things will, di will, di will dilute into the water. So once the fish gets into the water, it it only goes, it only takes through the process process of diffusion into their system. So, and you know, the phosphorus enhances the, the growth of proteins. So it helps the fish to take care of the protein something very well. Nice. So if we don't do it, their feeding capability always low. Mm -hmm. That's why we do it to boost them. When you put them, when you put the fertilizer into the water, you will see the fish will just go extraordinarily. Yeah. The following day. Nice. Here we put three times of that fiber. That fiber mm. is three here. Mm. The three fiber that we put here, this place is bigger than the fiber ten times. Okay, so by putting the yeah. content of the fiber here, yeah. you give ten times more space, space to the space of it. it. Mm -hmm. Yes, the that circular fiber. Mm -hmm. So two is here, so we give it ten mm -hmm. times of it. You get the space, mm -hmm. so it goes to the other ones too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that is how it is. You know. From the from the hatching trough at home, that, the one the yellow something I showed you. Yes. You know that one from that one one single one goes yeah. into ten of the fiber. Yes. So that's why we always produce ten times piece, ten times piece. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so you get the principle now. Yes. Yeah. And that's what you call uh, uh, the principle called thinning. Yes, thinning. Yes. You, you continue to thin. Okay. That is the thinning, the form of thinning. When you thin, like now we took that. Three fiber, mm -hmm. we thin it into ten mm -hmm. more space. You get it now. Yes. Uh -huh. And here, what do you feed the the? Uh, uh, here we use feed of we use crumbles. Yeah. Crumbles of uh, 0.3. We start them with 0.3. Mm -hmm. it goes to 0.5, 0.8, like that until it gets to 2 mm. Finish. Go out. This one will go to market. And how what is the size when they are you are taking them out for at market? Uh, we take them depend on the farmers. We take them at the at one gram sometimes, mm -hmm. but normally, but these days they are not asking for that one gram plus. They are now asking for two grams plus. Okay, four grams, five grams. That is what we sell. Okay, and how long does does it take for you to grow them to one gram in this pond? Uh, one gram is just two weeks. 
two weeks. Uh-huh. One gram uh, in two weeks, you will get two grams, three grams. You know, they don't grow if they don't grow equally. Yes. Uh-huh. Mm. Spread like that. So okay. you will get the minimum in two weeks. You will get the minimum of one gram of uh, one gram. 0.9.8 grams, one grams like that in two weeks. So we, we will do the harvest. So we upgrade us, we will grade and restock. Okay. If you don't grade and restock, the cannibalization will finish the restock. Okay. So in total, in about 15 days, you bring everything here. You bring everything here. here. And then in, in one week, days, so at 21. Days okay. you could only have one gram. Yes. Okay, that's really so. Less than one month, yes. and you could have uh, something like two to five grams. Of course. No. Less than no. It's more than one month to get four, four five grams. Okay. But one to two grams. Yes, in one month. In one month. Nice. Right. So I have to say that there is a net on top of each pond, right? Y- yes. So it's we have the. Beds off. Yes. This net keeps the birds off, even though so the birds will also eat. Yes, so yes. Stop. And the, 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 the bad side of the bird is that the birds introduce diseases. Mm-hmm. They, they are disease carrier. And there also you have a net at the main point, point of entrance of water, of point water, of entry. In order to prevent mm-hmm. any predators that may follow the pump. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because we use the pumping machine to pump water. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some of the fish we transfer them yesterday. I hope you like this video. As usual, I'll invite you to share the video and invite other people to subscribe to All About Aquaculture to see the aquaculture profit Africa. Thank you. Bye-bye. Odabo. 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 Odabo.